Daniel Espresso Machine, Espresso Maker. Hey guys, welcome back. Today another video. This time a video is gonna be uh, very atypical, not, not something I usually do, but I'm giving it a try. Uh, bear with me, hope you enjoyed this video. So be patient, be patient with me. Hopefully you'll get something out of this video. Let's start the ride and I'll talk to you as I get to uh, location. My bags are full with all kinds of goodies. I'll show you a sneak peek. But we'll see very soon once I get to the place. It's a very nice day out. It's in the 70s, lower 70s. I don't know if you guys noticed the last... I Actually, I know some of you noticed because I did get down by the comments, some people saying, hey Sandy, it seems like you lost a lot of weight. So, actually you can go and look back a year, a year ago, my weight over there, compared to now. So over the year, over about uh, six, uh, like 12 months, I've lost between 15 and 20 pounds. You say, how, how did I manage that? For the past year, year and a half, I've been on a on a diet. Uh, some of you probably know, I've heard of. It's called the keto ketogenic diet. Now I'm not going to elaborate and explain exactly what it's all about. There's a whole science behind it. And my this video is the intention of this video is not to tell you all about the diet. But on that diet that I've been uh, on for like a year and a half now, pretty much. You avoid carbohydrates or also known as carbs of course so I don't eat bread I don't eat sugars I don't eat uh, rice potatoes I mean I do eat a little but my daily my daily diet uh, consists mainly of proteins meat you know meat vegetables uh, but no no sugars like I avoid sugars pasta of course no pasta no bread no Obviously, the most important thing of this of this way of life, call it a diet, whatever you want to call it, is uh, exercise. So this is my exercise, my daily exercise. So this is my morning walk. Like I said, I don't uh, frequent the gym. I don't go to the gym that much, or for that matter, at all. But I do uh, walk four, five, sometimes six six days a week, three and a half, four miles in the morning. Take my wifey with me and my little Pico dog over there. And uh, I try to do that, you know, as much as I can. See, obviously I could have just walked into the kitchen and start uh, cooking, but what's more fun than loading up those bags of the bagger and riding to a nice location?
get the bike out. Let me show you where I stopped. Pretty nice. I'll use this trunk as like a little table. Bike is in the woods. <laughs> really nice. So let me get organized. So let me show you what I packed for this little uh, adventure. Bags, of course, full of uh, some stuff, water. full of goodies. I'll show you very soon what I got. And it'll fit in the bag. Obviously all my, my camera gear. Frying pan. Plate heat. chair over here i think actually better off i'm gonna do everything in the shade over here it's a bit warm yep good spot now obviously every morning i start with a cup of coffee so let's start with coffee and then we'll start cooking My uh, manual espresso machine, espresso maker. My dad actually gave this to me. He's he's crazy about these things. He makes every day. He makes his own coffee with this espresso machine. Not espresso machine, a uh, espresso maker. Uh, really cool, old school, really nice. Let's start with that. Set up the stove. little stove on Amazon pretty cool not a big camper myself every once in a while but I got this one for this breakfast so you see how the legs fold nice little stove some water this is a personal uh, personal quantity it's like one cup one cup of espresso but I'm gonna be doing I don't like espresso it's too short I like to have uh, to drink my coffee for a while so I'll make a uh, one shot and then uh, boil some water, add that, like an Americano, and then add some milk. Whoops, here goes the camera. There it is. Ground coffee, espresso coffee. Oh, the smell is amazing. <laughs> Pop it off. Now what's nice is I put this on the on the stove, it heats up, and once it boils at a certain uh, pressure builds up in here, it goes up through the uh, through the spout over here and drips. It goes through the, the coffee, the ground coffee, and spills comes out over here. Really nice. We'll see it soon. Oil, cool. 
trees can come out on this side, on the top. So while we're waiting for this to boil, I'll explain a little bit more what, uh, finish up with this coffee and uh, then start making breakfast. It's gonna be nice sausage. Uh, no, a cheese omelet with a little bit of pepperoni. So it's going to be really good. And that's pretty much what I eat during the morning. And the fact that you have uh, the cheese, the proteins, uh, with, the, with the fats and stuff like that, that actually keeps you full. You don't feel hungry during the day. The thing that actually uh, makes you feel you know, hungry is, is the carbs. They're digested very fast. Those sugars, they're digested very fast. And they leave... Oh, here we go. Wait. Uh, feeling hungry very shortly after you've done uh, you've been done eating you see how all the cof coffee came up through the spout to the top and the coffee's ready actually I'll spill it into the holy shift cup I'll just boil some water so I turn it into an Americano brought some milk with me. Very hot burner. It's almost boiling. It's boiling actually. And you guys like to make fun of me. Yeah, I drink almond milk. Loser. Well, Loser. Actually, this one is oat milk. Vanilla flavored oat milk. It has no sugar in it, by the way. And so I... Now we got to start the day. With a little coffee. Uh, truth be said, truth be told, this is uh, not my first cup. This is my second cup. Okay, but I'm hungry, let's eat. Let's make the food. That's what we're here for, right? Back in the game. Okay. Olive oil, guys. Nobody can say anything bad about olive oil. No matter where you look for it, there's total consensus that olive oil is good for you no matter what. Al fresco, all natural, roasted pepper and asiago chicken sausage that's what my wife bought me and it's great get three of those You're not going to believe what I even brought with me. Yep. <laughs> this spatula. Grab my eggs. I got a bowl. There it is. Two eggs. Although uh, some days I actually eat three eggs. It's not a problem. Doctors, are, you know, that people say two, two eggs a day is all you need. Whatever. So actually, you know what, while we're waiting for, for this to cook, let me tell you a little bit about what a uh, ketogenic diet is all about. It's a philosophy or it's a whatever you want to call it, a belief, uh, an unproven science, whatever, or that as uh, that all the industrial uh, products, grains, flour, uh, sugars, 
are not really needed, or they are needed, but uh, we actually consume excessively excessive amounts of them. And if you go to a more natural diet where you eat, I don't want to say raw foods or foods that are less processed, your body naturally knows how to your body knows how to break up fats uh, and use them as energy. Like in the, in the cave, you know, the days of the cave when we lived in caves, we used to uh, during the summer we used to eat a lot, gain fat. Uh, gain fat, become fat, and during the winter times when there was uh, there was food missing or there was very difficult to hunt, you would burn up. The body naturally burns up with fat and turns that into energy. But what we're doing of using the body nowadays, where food is so abundant year round, we keep eating all these processed foods, all these uh, sugars, carbo carbs, carbohydrates, and uh, the body's actually breaking up those uh, carbs that are uh, readily in the bloodstream instead of actually breaking up the fats but the body actually knows how to break up the fats so if you uh, you need to le literally teach the body again how to start breaking up the fats so you provide less and less carbs during the day sugars during the day and the body goes through a process called ketosis where it breaks up starts breaking up uh, those fats into into energy kind of so that's what I've been doing for the last year and a half. I also have, uh, before I have this breakfast, this breakfast I eat, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock. Before that, I have with my coffee a little bar. It's a Atkins bar, which is coconut with chocolate, but it's got zero uh, grams of sugar. So that starts me during the day, of course, and then I get to make my uh, breakfast. A breakfast like this will last me until like 3, 4 o'clock. I don't need to eat anything. And what's nice about this is you eat all the stuff you like, the steaks, meat, cheeses. It's just you, get, you have to have without sugars. And if you're a pasta guy and rice guy and potatoes guy, well, that's a problem. You eat less of that. Let's put it that way. Waiting nicely for its turn. And it's got a little igniter. You don't even need to use... Uh, matches, although I did bring matches just in case. This guy's ready. I think they're all ready. Yeah, let me... so bugs don't eat them while I'm waiting for the rest to cook. Here's my pepperoni. Now pepperoni itself has a lot of oil in it anyway, so I don't need that much oil the cheese to go olive oil guys always good now I think actually the stove is a little bit too hot It's like a pizza, like a pizza with no dough. Hands 
share any of my food. You guys are hungry as well. nicely so you can see my beautiful breakfast my keto breakfast and obviously gotta top it off my beautiful breakfast how have you freshly ground and now let's eat Delicious cheese and pepperoni omelet. Chicken sausage. So a meal like this, how you doing? A meal like this can can last, can hold me full for five hours, five, six hours, because the fats and the proteins, you know, while they're being digested, you don't feel you don't feel hungry. So that's how I lost 17 pounds of the last year. And I feel energetic. It's not that, that I'm like suffering. So once I'm done eating, I'll be cleaning up over here, this pigsty behind me. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get out of this, out of this place because I parked facing in. I parked the Harley facing in. I said park the Harley facing in. So I'll have to do a little uh, preload U-turn over here. I'm just kidding. I'll just have to figure out how to get out of here. That's it guys. A different video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll finish up and I'll ride home a little bit so you'll be uh, I'll still have a few a few clips of me riding through this beautiful scenery for now uh, appreciate if you give me a little thumbs up over there and uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel want to watch more of these videos go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel do me a favor if you guys have already seen my videos and you enjoyed this video uh, let me know this you know this outdoors is a little bit camping this little you know this little excursion out of town out of the city Go into the go into the wild cook a little bit stuff like that let me know it's like like pepperoni pizza without the dough really good. almost completely demolished it really good Join this breakfast feast. Oh, oh shit, it fell. And I lost my. I'll clean it up. It fell. It's like with my kids, it was like three second rule. If it falls and it's on the ground for less than three seconds, you can eat it. And I'll just clean it up and just have it. Runs me till 
probably three o'clock today. It's now uh, 10 30 in the morning. Look how nicely this folds back up. And it fits in this little back in here. And let's get out of here. It should fit because now I have three, uh, three sausages less and two eggs less, so it should fit. <laughs> this little folding chair, I got it at the local store, $12. And it fit in my bag, it fits in my bag. Yeah, it fit, it's closed. Else. Okay, I don't have I don't have enough uh, space over here to go forward and turn around. There's boulders all over, so I think I'm gonna push myself back using that backrest. The backrest all the way back. I'm out of here.